First of all, we need to look at the phrase environmental monitoring. This is defined as the process and the activities that are needed to take place to characterize and monitor the quality of the environment. These may include looking at the physical samples or data relating to the presence and or concentration of potential polluting substances in, on, or under the land and within the surface water and underground of the environment. So how do we monitor that? You can have a monitoring plan that will include the following. You need to identify the monitoring points. These monitoring points can then be audited by the EIA, which is exhaustive, precise, and has identified all the potential environmental pollutants that may arise from a particular industry or particular company. First of all, we need to identify which points need to be monitored. For example, in terms of a drainage system, if you've got all your drainage system for your water, for your water waste, your chemical waste, as well as your storage vessels, where you store large amount of chemicals which could explode, leak or explode. It may be important to look at your process plant and equipment to check for any damage or leakage. You can also look at your pipe runs, valves and fittings to check for potential wear and tear that could cause a leakage leading to potential pollution. You can look at raw materials and the final product packaging. You may have the boxes that are made out of plastic or non-biodegradable material. You will also want to look at your storage areas of your products. Look at elements like where you store your chemicals. For example, if you have a diesel tank in storage, you may need to put up specific walls which will be able to capture the amount of liquid expelled in instance of leaks or find a way that the chemical can drain into a system somewhere that can be safely monitored. Inspections are immensely important in the process of environmental monitoring. One needs to inspect the areas that you think or suspect environmental pollutants may arise from. For example, you need to conduct a site visit in which you monitor and assess the environmental quality standards. Here you can consider referring back to environmental auditing reports or statements. You could also check the premises and equipment as well as the adequacy of relevant environmental management records. Equipment infrastructure should also be checked as they are intended to prevent all sources of pollution. For example, you could check your catchment pit, burn walls, impermeable hard caps, and interceptors. You could look at adding an evaluation of performance into your monitoring plan by which you assess indicators. These indicators may be management performance indicators which then will be as a result of an audit, CSR sustainability report, and corrective action plans. You may also benefit from looking at operational performance indicators, that is the quality of variable materials in and out of the process. Also look at the quantity of energy used. Finally, you can also look at environmental condition indicators. For example, you can look at regional and global conditions of water, air, soil, climate, ecosystem, and spaces which can also help you to monitor the environmental performance. Thank you.